Hi, this is Sean Chua. Welcome back to alevelh2chemistry.com. Today we're going to discuss a very important concept in the topic of atomic structure. And this is known as the ionization energies. Now, uh, normally when we learn this ionization energies, we're going to discuss the first ionization energy first. And this is where we're going to get started. Alright, let's take a look on the board. Okay? Now, uh, first ionization energy, in short, we tend to write first IE, especially in the exam, we don't have a lot of time. All right? uh, it's formally defined as the amount of energy required to remove one mole of electrons all right? from a one mole of gaseous atoms to produce one mole of singly charged gaseous ions. All right? So, in general, how do we write an equation? All, right? all of it. So first RE, the equation will look something like this. Let's use uh, atom as X, all right? It's an unknown atom. So example, you'll be X, gaseous atoms, one more of it, all right? And then you remove, you form one more of singly charged gaseous ions. So you're going to have X plus gaseous, and then you remove one more of electrons. So the electrons will be here, okay? Because the amount of energy is required, is absorbed. So this is an endothermic process, alright, the endotomic one. So delta H, the enthalpy change for so-called first IE, alright, delta H1, alright, will then be a positive value in terms of kilojoules per mole, alright, so that's first IE. Now looking at this, can people ask you, can examiners ask you on second IE? Obviously we can, alright, so what is the second IE then? Let me write the enthalpy change, alright, this will then be what? Will then be x plus, all right, becomes x2 plus and electron over here. Okay, so delta H, let me put this in line, will then be positive also because when you remove electrons, you need energy. All right, so energy is absorbed. Now, so this one, if we uh, ask you to uh, define, second IE and write equation. This will be the equation I'm going to write. And then in English, when you write out, it will be something like this, but we're going to change some of the words, all right? So take a look over here, second IE. Yeah? Now, so for this, it will be the amount of energy required to remove one mole of electron from one mole of singly charged gaseous ions to produce one mole of doubly charged gaseous ions. All right, see what we are doing over here? So from there, you can do also your third IE, fourth IE, all right? Now, uh, let me use an uh, exact example, or uh, an example uh, from the periodic table. Let's use uh, sodium, okay? So example, let's talk about sodium. Now sodium, uh, the mass number is 23, the proton number or the atomic number is 11, which means therefore it has 11 uh, protons, which also indirectly tells us we have 11 electrons. All right, so uh, if I write the first IE, okay, of your sodium, okay, it will then be Na gaseous, give you Na plus gaseous, and one more of electron. This is your first IE. And when you write your second IE, okay, it will then be Na plus gaseous becomes Na2 plus gaseous and electron. Always remember that you only can remove one more of electrons each time. All right? Now, so a possible question that the examiner would love to ask is, uh, what is the maximum IEs ionization energies that can be achieved for a certain element in the periodic table. So for sodium, if you realize it has 11 electrons, it also means you can actually use energy to remove all 11 electrons one at a time. So we can go all the way to a maximum called the 11th IE for sodium. Make sense? So what are we going to write? All right, it will then be Na10 plus gaseous ions becomes Na11 plus gaseous ion and one more of 
chomps. Alright, so basically the maximum um, IEs you can ever achieve, alright, is all based on the proton or the atomic number of that element. Okay, so I'll give you a second example. Uh, for example, I use um, say uh, chlorine. Alright, chlorine has proton number of 17, so we're going to have 17 electrons. Therefore, the maximum IE you can ever achieve will then be 17th ionization energy. Okay, so how are we going to write the equation? It will then be chlorine 16th charge. All right, the gaseous ion becomes chlorine 17th gaseous and electron. Okay, with that in mind, uh, we can basically uh, write the ionization energies all right, uh, of all the elements in the periodic table when asked in examinations. Okay, so uh, I hope you find the video useful and really enjoy it. Um, feel free to share this with your friends. I look forward to seeing you back in the next video. Thank you.